Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Puru Dhawan and today I am going to talk about the itchy skin in kidney disease. Generally, the kidney failure patient experience itchy skin which is very irritating and they are unaware of the reason behind this unwanted itchiness in their skin. To begin with, we should first understand our kidney function. The main function of the kidney is to filter our blood and remove all the waste from the body. Let it be the creatinine, urea, potassium or sodium. When the kidney is functioning properly, it performs these function well efficiently. But when due to any underlying reasons like increased blood pressure or increased sugar level, the kidney start losing its functional capacity, affecting the filtration process. As a result, all the waste like creatinine, urea start accumulating in the blood. When this happens, these waste also get circulated to different body parts through our bloodstream. Now your skin which is very sensitive organ of the body, it also getting the impure blood supply. Due to this reason, the skin starts showing you itchiness and irritating rashes. Commonly, this problem is found in your legs, hand and back. The itchiness is a sign of rising creatinine level in our body. Generally, as a kidney failure patient, you will experience this problem when your creatinine crosses the level of 5 mg per deciliter. The problem of itchiness worsens with the increasing level of creatinine and if these levels go down then your problem will also be paid away slowly. Now the question arises that what should you do to solve this issue of itchiness in your skin? So our main aim should be to purify our blood. For this you can work upon two processes. First try to minimize the intake of food which increase the amount of creatinine in your blood. Instead of that, try to eat healthy food and it will help in the lowering down the level of creatinine and urea in your body. Second, focus upon enhancing the working capacity of the kidney. This will increase the expulsion rate of creatinine and urea from the body. Carry on the both process simultaneously, but don't take any of this process to extreme level. You may ask why. Let me explain. When a kidney failure patient is advised to take only boiled vegetable like bottle grout, rich grout and round grout, then this diet can't be followed for a long period. You may eat them for 6 days, 12 days, but if you think you can stay on this diet for years, then it won't work. These food have less taste and texture as well. As a result, the diet starts decreasing and the patient starts losing weight. And I have already explained it to you in my previous video why losing weight is harmful for a kidney failure patient. Your kidney don't become weak or impaired on their own. They always have some underlying reason which affect your kidney. As a result of which, the waste metal starts accumulating in the body. So, to treat kidney functions, focus upon the bringing your sugar level, blood level in control. When this is done, your kidney will no more be harmed by these reasons. Your kidney level will become stable, but they won't increase rapidly. Now talking about the nephrons, the nephron in your kidney have to be a good natural property to increase their working capacity in the presence of a good condition like controlled blood pressure and blood sugar levels. If you notice carefully the nephrons of any impaired kidney, then you can see two types of damages in your nephrons. First are the dead nephrons, second are the nephrons which have become inflamed and weak due to the high blood pressure and high sugar level. So these nephrons can get back to work properly if the things are treated. As a result, your creatinine and urea level will go down eventually. So focus on your kidney functions. Now you must be thinking that what should be done? Breaking down the level of creatinine by losing weight or by increasing the kidney's function capacity. So if you choose to control your food, then it is going to be difficult for you. You will face certain health complications in future. If you put too much restriction on your diet, your body will face severe consequences in future. Make certain changes like minimizing the intake of tea and coffee, minimizing the protein intake, taking only legumes and lentils, avoiding jaggery, but don't completely avoid all these things. Eat everything, but in a limit. Otherwise, other body function will start also getting affected soon, leading towards multi-system failure in your body. So, to take care of your kidneys, simultaneously work upon the both process. 
I hope you understood the concept of itchy skin and the kidney disease. With this, I would like to take your leave now. If you have any doubt or query, feel free to share it in the comment section. See you guys in the next video. Till then, take care. Bye-bye and Namaste.